Hello everyone, my name is JW, and welcome back to a Minecraft tutorial. Today, we'll be looking at the Ford 3-ton M1918, built in the USA. The Ford 3-ton was meant to be in service in World War I as an alternative to the Renault FT-17 built by France. This was built by the Ford company as an alternative to a cheaper solution than the Renault FT. The primary armament of the Ford 3-ton was one 30 caliber 7.62 millimeter Browning machine gun, most likely being of the M1917 variant, which could hold approximately 550 rounds of ammunition in the vehicle. The mass weight of the vehicle was 3 tons, length being 14 feet or 4.3 meters, width 6 feet or 1.8 meters, and height is also 6 feet with 1.8 meters. The crew of the Ford 3 ton was two, the driver and the gunner. The engine of the Ford 3 ton was two Ford Model T engines producing 45 horsepower, giving it a power to weight ratio of 10.4 horsepower per ton, with an operational range of 55 kilometers or 34 miles, with a maximum speed of 12.8 kilometers an hour or eight miles per hour. The Ford 3 ton was one of the first vehicles designed by the US for World War I. It was classification as a tankette, not a full tank. It was small, two man, and had access to a machine gun. And the manufacturer was the Ford Motor Company, with only 15 vehicles being produced out of the order of 15,000. With France even interested in the Ford 3 ton, though not in a frontline service capacity, more as an artillery tractor capacity carrying their artillery guns and howitzers. Because France considered the Ford 3 ton inferior to the Renault FT. And again, being produced from 1970 to 1918, with only 15 built. Surviving examples are at Fort Benning, Georgia, and the second being at the Ordnance Collection at Fort Lee, Virginia. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little t history lesson today. Now let's get into building the vehicle. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so this shall be the first vehicle for the United States of America. Here she is. The little Ford 3-ton. It is smaller than the Renault FT, even though they're supposed to be the same width of block rise, but to get to squeeze in a little extra detail of the driver's hatch and the gunner position, I needed to extend it one block. But, oh well, that should not uh, defer it size comparison-wise. Let's get our block, shall we? We're gonna need stone brick slabs, lime terracotta, stone brick stairs, polished andesite, stone stairs, stone slabs, cobblestone wall. Don't, don't know why I need that one. I changed the gun, so yeah, okay. Let's get started. Find a spot where you want to build. I'm gonna start right here. With one, two, three. Yep, bring it back when one, one, I want it parallel. Because I OCD will kill me if I don't. Alright, then we're gonna skip two and one, two, three. Alright, next, we're gonna put the polish in as I block there. And we're gonna put stone slabs here and on the back. There we go. On the front, we're gonna put polish and right there and there. And on the back here, we're gonna put a stair and a stair. On the front, we're gonna put upside down stairs. On the top, we're gonna to do one, two, three, and one, two, three. On the bottom, one, two, and a one, and a two. There we go. All right, tracks are complete. So we don't need the track materials anymore. We just need these three materials. All right, so first off, we are gonna put in the bottom slabs. Do about right there. Put that there and remove those. We're gonna put that block there. In fact, we're just gonna fill it in, all in. With a slab coming out back and right there. And here. We're gonna put stairs arching like that. There we go. Next, we're gonna put three stairs like so. 
There we go. And then here we're going to put two blocks. I believe we're just going to do a slab right there. With a slab on top. There we go. That is the extent of the body. And now we're going to keep our stairs. So we move that over. And we're going to grab our cosmetic materials, which are Doko Gord Trapdoors, Green Carpet, Andrade, Iron Trapdoor, Spruce Side, and Dark Oak Wood Button. So the buttons are going to go here and here. Left one being in the center here, because this is riveted. And over here. There we go. Next, we're going to put our spruce trapdoor. I mean, uh, dark oak wood trapdoor. Right there. With this right there as the connecting rod. Or the axle for the vehicle. Next, we're going to grab our iron trapdoors. Place them practically everywhere we can. On the back here. Like this. And we're going to go like that. There we go. Now for our stairs. I'll go like that. Have them upside down. This was quite common in World War I vehicles to prevent them from flipping over. Okay. Oh, and I forgot iron bars. We're going to put iron bars here and here. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. There we go. There we go. Green carpet's gonna go up here. And we can put them on the back here. There we go. And we're gonna need a dark oak wood fence gate for the machine gun. There we go. It's a nice little little tank yet. Next, oh, why oh, did I get rid of the spruce trapdoor? I, I meant the spruce. Eh, JW, you're losing your mind. Alright, so there, there, and there. We're also going to put a green carpet down here. And then we're going to do it on this side as well. And up here. There we go. And I believe that is it. You have successfully made the M1918 Ford 3 ton World War I tankette from the United States. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, please hit that like button wherever you're going to move it to. And hit that subscribe button as well. I would love a new addition to my Vundava Wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so, so much for doing what you do and liking and subscribing. And I'm really happy to see that the VR stuff is uh, going well. That's one of my new favorite things to do now. So remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>